everyone. Um, my name is Helen and I run uh, one of the Writing West Midlands Sparkling Writers groups in Birmingham at the Think Tank. And I have a little exercise um, that I thought you might enjoy. It's kind of uh, a word bank game. So we're gathering words, bringing them all together, and then we're going to use that as the basis for our writing whether it be a poem or a short story or a piece of flash fiction or anything else that you might be writing, it's just a really useful uh, tool to get us moving and get us um, bringing our ideas together. So the first thing we do with this little exercise is we take any book that we're really enjoying um, and that we've been reading. So I've done this with two books. I've done it with this one, which is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl and I've been reading that with my daughter and I've also done it with this one which some of you may know I love this book The Lost Words it's fabulous um, if you don't have it get it because it's anyone of all ages can enjoy this book um, and I'm going to use this book to give you an example of how we're going to do this exercise so the first thing you do is you take your book and you're going to Open a page at random. I'll go again because that's just a picture. <laughs> and then when you're on the page, you're going to pick one word from that page or a phrase that you like. So I'm going to choose the word rolling because I like that word. And I'm going to write that word down at the top of my page here. And you can just have, you know, it can be a small little notebook or like an A4, anything. So I'm going to write the word rolling here. And then I'm going to do the same again. I might go to the same book or I might go to a different book, actually. So I might go with this one this time. I'm going to page it random and I'm going to open it and I'm going to choose the word pipe. Because I like the idea of saying the word pipe. And I'm going to write that down. Pipe. And I'm just going to write it kind of next to that one there and you go along your page like that so I'm going to pick one more word now another page at random if it's not a picture and I'm coming to this one here I'm just going to show you how beautiful these pictures are look at that it's a little poem about ivy beautiful such a great book um and I'm going to choose the word flyer, or high flyer, actually. It's a hyphenated, hyphenated poetic word. So I'm going to write that down, high flyer. Okay, and then this is the next bit. This is the kind of the fun bit that you're going to do. So you've got three words at the top of your page now. I've got rolling, pipe, and high flyer. And with each word now, I'm going to think of another word that is completely unrelated to it. So let me take the word rolling. A word that is completely unrelated to the idea of rolling or the image of rolling or anything to do with rolling. Something that has nothing to do with it could be branch. I'm going to write that down. We can argue the toss for a rolling branch, but right now I'm going to stick with a Branch is different to the word rolling. Okay, so pipe. Something that has nothing to do with the word pipe. You can give yourself a time limit as well. You can set yourself 30 seconds a word, maybe, if you want to kind of spice it up. Pipe. Ice cream. Mm, okay, no, yeah, that kind of works. Do you pipe ice cream? You pipe icing. So I think I'm okay there. And high flyer, something completely different. So a high flyer is something that soars, that is up in the air. Also, it can kind of mean that you're successful, that you do really well. So I'm going to think of the word stone. And I'm writing these words that are the opposite of the word that I've chosen from the book underneath like this. So we have like a little list. Yeah. Yeah. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going. Yeah, so I've got pipe and under that I've got ice cream. I've got rolling, under that I've got branch. I've got high flyer and under that I've got stone and I'm going to keep going now. 
So I'm going to start with stone. What is the complete opposite of stone? Not high flyer. So it's got to be different. You've got to think outside the box. So what's completely different to the word stone, something completely unrelated. I'd like to say water, but you see stones with water in rivers. So not stone. I'm going to say fingers. Because <laughs> fingers move. They're light. They're agile. They, they move around a lot. They pick up things. They put things down. Yeah, and let's go with branch, something completely opposite to branch. Non-twiggy, non-flaky, not attached to a tree, not kind of solid and still. So maybe we have, and not wind because the branches are moved by the wind, so that's connected as well. Branch, can I phone a friend? Pillow. <laughs> and then... I'm going to do one more just to give you an idea. So ice cream, what's well, completely the opposite of ice cream. So not cold, not sweet. We don't eat it. Um, it's not lots of colours. We don't hold it. You know, you can go on forever thinking of things that aren't opposite. So I'm going to put down fire because it is the complete opposite, isn't it? Something hot like that. And you just keep going. Keep it going for as long as you like. I kind of think it's good to have about 10 words for each column. Yeah, so I've got three at the moment. So if I wanted to keep going, I'd do a few more just so I had sort of 10 each. And then once I've got my word bank, you can start to play with what you've got. So you can do whatever you like, really. You can go from wherever you like from here. But one thing you could do is to take one um of the, of the kind of of the three words that go across so say I chose fingers pillow and fire okay they're going across now we're not going down we're using the words as they go across and I would try and write a sentence using those three words um, and then seeing where that sentence takes me in my writing is it the start of a poem is it the start of a story is it just the start of a piece of nonsensical writing that's just really fun to do it's there's no rules you can go anywhere you like with this so a sentence with fingers pillow and fire um my fingers were walking along the bed they walked onto my pillow which was the color of fire really not very good <laughs> But as you can see, like you can play with that. So I could write that down and then I could take some words out. I could put some words back in, new words. I could just kind of use that as a starting point of a timed writing exercise. So my fingers were walking, walking along the bed onto the pillow, which was the colour of fire. And what happened next? So you could just keep writing, time yourself for three minutes. You can go anywhere with it. So basically, that's it. Just have fun with the words, um, see what you come up with. Um, um, I hope you're all well, I hope you're all safe. Um, enjoy, bye.